Oh, this is the wrong one. There we go. Ah, oh, isn't that lovely? Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Alberian, where we usually play TTRPGs and have a hoot. We're not playing a TTRPG today. We're preparing ourselves for when we do. Thanks for being here. Today, we're making some maps. Now, if you see here, this is Iridai. Wonderful place, right? Uh, there's a lot of different little nations and such, and I realized uh, there's individual bits inside that are not seen because it's a large continent. And to give you an idea of how big this place is, I'm gonna fix the sound because I think the music's coming out a little too loud, maybe? Maybe? I don't know. Hang on. There we go. I'll just cut it back 5%. Uh, this content's supposed to be... Ooh, where's the number? 3,264 miles wide. Which means we need to adjust things. Firstly, let's go in and adjust the cell size to 0.25. So we get more of a look of this. So there we go. So uh, this is 705 feet. That's nice. That's a good way of starting. Oop, squizzy. Now let's change that to miles. Could do kilometers, but miles is just easier for the location I'm in. Uh, this is where the guessing game starts. How many miles do I need each square to be? Definitely not 49. That's for sure. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Come here. Uh, how about 35? Let's try that. We might actually be switching this down to something like, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm guessing around that 27 range. Let's try that. This way, 3,264. This way, when I'm doing the regional map, I actually have an idea of how long and wide exactly it needs to be. So I can get that right to begin with. Uh, that needs to be changed to a three, maybe. Maybe. Who knows? Oh, oh, I'm close. I'm close. What if we drop it down one more? One more might do it. Oh, oh bugger. Go away. Yes, I didn't mean to do that. My mouse sensitivity. Hmm, it's a thing. Let's see what that one more does. Shoopy doop boop 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 doop. Okay, close, close, very, very close. Let's add a point one to it and see if it gets accurate. Come on, there we go. I've had a lot of caffeine today, so my hands are twitchy. Super duper twitchy. <gasps> oh my good story, I surprise. Doing good. Sorry, ghost AFK, real quick. Nah, no, you're good, you're good. This might be a 22.2 range here. <gasps> oh. Oh, how how just delicious is that? A 22.2 is almost exactly correct. Now, there we go. Now I can do things like this. So the Grantina Senate is going to be <laughs> as, as big as Iridai. Not Iridai, uh, Andrea. Uh, go figure. So this, this is the size of the continent that they're wandering around right now. There you go. It's huge. Freaking huge, isn't it? Delicious. Uh, I should probably write these little details. Actually, no, I'm going to have this on the side. I won't need to write it down. I also don't need this notebook anymore. Thank you, notebook. You serve me well. There we go. Ooh. How is everyone today? I woke up tired. And even though I've had two cups of coffee, I'm still tired. Just goes to show caffeine really doesn't do the trick. Boom. Shifted real quick, didn't it? You you do have a map of my heart, Hans. That's true. I freely give that. They have have a way at my hap. At my hap. God. There you go, there's my tiredness. At my map. Hey, Incredible Fox. How you doing? 
Right, where do we want to start? Do we want to, what kingdom do we want to start on? Or what nation? Uh, you know what, Grantina Senate. Why not? This is going to be a regional map. Fant fantasy. Let's choose that. Okay. <laughs> Here's the fiddly bit. Um, entire thing, not the map. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Waking up sleepy is muy difícil. We could do a landscape. But it really depends on... So, Grantina Senate, we're going to be looking at roughly... 777 miles tall. Uh, uh, the, the actual word for that is failing me right now. And roughly, Gualtra is going to be inside the kingdom of Balishtar, so we can forget that bit. Uh, that's 1,287.6 miles. Actually, yeah, the landscape, I think we'll do that. And if not, we can just extend it out a bit. Right, we don't need that yet, because there's nothing on there. Let's get... Okay, it's doing that scene. We don't want that scene. We want sand. Desert. Yeah. Cool. Look at that. Look at that desert land. Now let's... Oh, really? Come on now. Fine, whatever. I'll just paint over it. Let's fill it with land first, and then go from there. Boop, 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 boop. Yay! And paint. Ever since Ethan came on and uh, told me, always increase your painting. Wonder Draft. Have you ever tried Wonder Draft? Uh, no, I haven't actually. What is Wonder Draft? Clickety-clack, clickety-clack. Uh, is an intuitive yet powerful fantasy map creation tool for a 68-bit Windows, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Wonder Draft better than Incarnate. Allows you more manipulation than Incarnate. You can isolate layers and export them as PNG. Oh, you can export P layers as PNGs. Ooh, like Photoshop. I'll have to look into that. Yeah, I'll definitely have to look into that. I like Incarnate because it's uh, really affordable, to put it bluntly. <laughs> I have uh, the, the rights to use everything I create on Incarnate. And they are just painfully, painfully uh, affordable. Right, up here, doo -doo -doo -doo, we want to subtract. Hey there, Cape Satan. Cape, Cape Satan. Cape Satan, well, I'm just going to call you Satan, because it's it's fun. Hello, how you doing? How is the day? We can get rid of all this. Boom. Nice and simple. Uh, we are doing zoomed in. I'm going to zoom in my reference map here. So I can get a better look of what I will want to be doing. So that's not bad. The problem with doing maps like this is I'm not going to get exact things. But the nice thing is as well, they're all going to be hand-drawn maps in-game. So they don't actually have to be precise, precise. You can fiddle around and finagle it all you like. That's not bad. Let's go a little bit more boopity boopity there. And then we take that, run it around, and cut up and around here. Oh, but now I'm losing, I'm not losing potential, I'm just not utilizing potential. but I'm also not wanting to be too zoomed in on the other bits. So, not necessarily a bad thing. Ring around. Nice thing about doing zoomed things of, like these 
is you get to see a bit more finite details. Went to the gym earlier. Ooh. After a month and a half of being sick. No. -ho -ho. That is on fire with creativity. Good. Good. Let that creativity flow. Ah, yes. My wonderful little music in the background. Okay, let's get rid of this bit. I don't need them. Maybe we'll put an island over there. Make it look a bit more unique looking. Hopefully your gym excursion went a little bit more... Or went well. I went a little bit more. What am I seeing? I am a confused. I am a very strange person. I do not know what I say half the time. Okay. How many miles away is that? Let's see. Oh, only 88.8 .8 miles. Gotta take into consideration a few bits. Okay, there needs to be a little bit more space and room up here. In that little breakaway. To leave some more room. Need to break this up a bit. Let's leave that island there. Creator's choice. And we'll do this for that little portion. Brilliant. Lovely. Got that. Chop up a little bit more there. And we actually want to... Ooh, we don't want to add that much. We want to add a smidgen more here, because it's going to be closer. Let's go back to the subtracting tool. Ooh, actually, no, go back to the adding tool. Because we're going to want to add something there, too. Got to get those islands. The archipelago of the gods is very terrifying. Scary, scary place. Shablui. And... Do... Do, 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 do. Where am I going down to for here? Let's call it there. Oh. Come on. There you go. How did I do that? Nice little... Well, there's bits on the big map that I'm looking at and questioning... Questioning bits of life. <laughs> How did I do that? Strategically is my answer. I did it strategically. Got to keep in mind, I don't have to be super duper precise. Because they're all going to be made by different people too, so, you know. Map makers decisions. What to include, how to shape it, where the refer references, references? Whew. That's my tired brain working for you. And other little bits like that. Because the big map, it's covering a lot of space, so you can't be super finite with the details on it. And let's actually make this smaller so I can do that. And then cut this up around there. Booyah. Got that. Then we go around like this. Up, ooh, down and over. Ooh, how big is this? Okay, it's a couple hundred miles, almost. Feel comfortable doing this, and then this, and then we go around like this. <gasps> I don't want to hit D right now. Noise. There we go. Now we can genuinely actually... Let's leave little island pockets there. I think that'll be fun. Happy little islands. Let's pull Bob Ross and leave some happy little islands. Yeah. Happy little islands. Uh, nope, you're too, you're too high up. Let's get rid of you entirely. And portion this out a bit more. See, this is where Ethan would be yelling at me, because I'm using a small, very small tool. How big is that island? Okay, it's only about, it's only a few miles. I can leave it like that. And then you are going to go like 
that. Oh, hope everyone's uh, turkey day went well. If you're in the US, that is. Uh, that's too, that's too small. Let's add a little bit more. Shiny. Taking a couple of pockets there. Mine was a nice and shiny day. We went over to some family friends. Had some chill time. I entertained a bunch of kids. Children, they have such high energy capacities. I don't understand how. I know physically how, because, you know, growing up, your body is using and needing a lot more energy. But keeping up with it, golly, I don't know how parents do it. Good to hear when great hands. All power and all... What's the word I'm looking for? Respect to people who are parents. Good job. There needs to be a little tiny island over here. Boop, like that. The rest, we're just gonna chuck out the window. Cause this is the extent of what's really been explored. Actually, there's one more island I need to add. And it's gonna be right here. That's not the shape of it. Let's cut some bits there. Make it nice and even there and extend out a little down here. Make it a bit more squarey. Like, oop, that was the wrong bit. There we go. Nice. You are there, you're there. Boom. Oop, that's not what I wanted. I want to increase you to 15, so I can... Do I want to do 15? Yeah. I'll leave small little pocket islands in there, because Archipelago is very, very dangerous. There's a reason why people don't want to go in there. There's a lot of swalls in different places, a little, little tiny islands that they don't understand. I say don't understand. They just haven't dealt with. I don't want to leave that there. If I put that in the wrong space, place, I need to add you right there. There we go. Zolo turns one in a week. It's already been a year. <gasps> Two kids of your own. Oof. God, that is insane, Hans. I'm, I'm flabbergasted by that. In a week, too. Oh, happy, happy birthday to the little Gorgonzola. Adorable little human. You made a good looking kid. Uh, ooh, I feel like there's too much space here. So I'm going to add that back in and refine it from the top instead. In okay, so that's that portion there. Yeah, this needs to be a little taller, kind of like that. And I need to get rid of this a little bit. There we go. Let's leave those islands there because that, that'll be that'll be fun. Cannot forget there's another one over here, and it's got a settlement on it, it's actually going to connect and go down along here. This needs to be a little wider. So let's cut some of that away. And leave a closer portion, but not that close. Eh, a little closer than what I just did there. So pop some of that back in. And then cut straight down there. Let's increase that. Get rid of shape bit more to get rid of this whole landmass. 
Now, some people will probably look at the empty map and then just create different little bits or like form in the islands. I like to fill it all in and then take away and find, see the image inside the landmass essentially. You need to, oop, that's adding still. I need to subtract. You need to go like this. Burp. Booyah. Now the subtracting tool, I can really increase, ooh, not that much. To get rid of all this. Those islands will be fun. Let's leave those. That's my answer to everything. That looks like it'll be fun. Let's leave it. Nice. There you go. The rough shape of the Grantina Senate. And ocean. That's where I'm going to put the name of it. Nice. Now, before we get into detailing, there are other little tiny bits actually I need to solve. First off, actually that can literally put be put anywhere because it's only there's a another little bit yeah i'm gonna move this back in so this oof that was a that was very jarring false marsh it's not actually there they don't know where it is it's anywhere anywhere and everywhere you want it to be so i can literally just uh plop but that's 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 weird weird shaped let's plop it like this there we go how big is it 150 that's how much i'm making on the map that seems like a little too large though for Ooh, excuse me little portions like that perfect now there are five cities that are basic strongholds, so I'm going to find my compass, which I use as cities, shrink it down in size, and plop down general areas of where they're going to be. Boop. And we've got another one boop up here. And we've got another one boop right there. Good enough. Now let's be a little distracted and fill in up here a little with that because up in those regions they're actually green and part of the Balashtar Kingdom that's where the Grantina Senate really ends actually I want to change my opacity here so I'm not Completely getting rid of it, but also making it look a bit more sanded. Nice. That's better. That's real nice. That's real pretty. Isn't that just good? Yeah. Yeah. That's a lot better. Let's add a few more little icons. Uh, Dune. Let's see if that gives me... Oh, it did. Love it. Got to really communicate that this is desert regions. Now, there's a recent thing that I've discovered on here. Do I like how those look? I kind of do. I want portions that are going to be more oasis-y, though. So maybe we're going to concentrate some of these. Let's do this. Let's concentrate them a bit more up here. Is it the capital? This is a, ooh, hang on, uh, Stronrith, this, this lovely place. And that's going to be much more in an oasis type location. That's too even. I don't want that to look too, too even. Got to have some imperfection looking bits. But I want the oasis to kind of die out the closer it gets to this portion. So this region, it needs to be much more deserty. So we're going to really make that all this way. We're going to have to sneak a few mountains in up here, just the tips. 
uh, well, tips, the bases of them, show that there are mountains in that region. Let's find some palm trees, shall we? Look at you. Look at you delicious palm trees. Oh, that's too small. Now, I could fill this entire region in with just palm trees and make it a crap ton of tokens in there. But I want it to be fairly... Oh, gross. Uh, not fairly gross. I want it to be fairly... <laughs> Not that busy, right? Because if you make it look too busy, like you're seeing already down here, the you've made a lot of changes. Consider saving your work. Adding too many assets to a map just makes it look stressed. It makes it look really, really stressed. A big, giant, regional one? Definitely. That makes sense. Uh, but it doesn't make any sense as to why there would be just an oasis down here. And it's not even an oasis. It's just more forested and palmy. That's too many trees. Like that. That's that's too many trees. Let's go grab our grabby hand and move some of these around. Make it a bit more concentrated around the city itself. And then focus. We want you actually to be at the top of the layer. Because if you're not, you're going to be hidden. I don't want that. I don't want that at all. Move that around there. Ooh. That one's looking nicer. Much nicer. Less overly focused and more... Haha. <laughs> okay. So little spring areas. What's up, Brand of the Slime? How you do? How you be? How was life? I might change some of that. I might not be happy with it, but we'll find out. We'll see in the future. Morning, morning. Good. You did not say good morning, because there is no such thing as a good morning. It is only ever morning. In my opinion. I actually got that from a place I used to work at. If you called and said good morning to someone, they would just look at you with a glare. I actually kind of like these ones better. Ooh, 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 ooh. I just had an idea. A dangerous idea. I put that too close to the oceans. Let's concentrate these even more. There's a place in the US called the Saltland Flats. What if we decided to make an area around here that's kind of the same idea, you know, just basic flatlands of salt flying around and rock flying around. Makes it a bit more dangerous -y. Been brainstorming ideas now for my overlays. Uh, the model is almost done. Ooh! Overlays are delightful to make. He said semi-sarcastically. Excuse me while I take a drink of liquids. It's a struggle bus. I mean, so the, the, the map of here to die itself, I, I've been working on that thing for years. I've constantly been changing it over and over and over again. Too many ideas and not enough time, not enough room to implement. Yeah, I agree. I have a list of, ooh, hang on. It's right in front of me. How many am I in it now? 36 one-shot ideas. Which I'll be marking... No, I won't be. That one That one shot's not written by me. That one's... Next week, Saturday, we have another one-shot. And that's, yeah, so that's separate from this world. Not connected to any of it. Just random little ideas. And I have a whole other world as well that's not even connected to this all. I did... I, I get the whole idea of too many ideas and not enough room to implement. Hopefully, though, I will be able to implement a few more ideas in this area. 
That's a general premise. Perfection. Oh, that's too small. Let's increase that size. Come on. There you go. That's a good lad. Deserty regions are fun and dangerous. Of course, actually, we're probably going to take these and make them a bit smaller. Because the idea and premise to this is that we're going to be adding cities that are not super big or super important to the main map. But will be pathways. Because currently, with the size of this map being... Or with the size of this country being going from Plebeus, which is down here. Ooh, hang on, you can't see that mouse. Plebeus, which is down here, all the way up to this region. That's about a thousand miles. Now, if you're traveling in game time, it's roughly 30 miles a day. Yeah, how many days is that going to take? You're not going to be able to go from Plebeus to Stronrith, which is 333 miles. That's down in this region and down over here. I'm going to be doing that in an easy journey. Because that's 10 days. And 10 days in the desert? Oh, come on now. Come on now. Actually, we should probably use a different compass to... Signify. Yeah, there we go. That's a cool one. Nice and bronzy. It's real simple and small. Oh, no. 350 days. God damn. Hello, Michael Arch. How are you doing? The competitive nature inside... He is now fanning the flame for motivation. You must doodle, doodle, doodle away. Show my world map in the Discord. Been working on the game for over 10 years. Ha! Huh. And running it for almost eight now. Nice. Yeah, that would be cool. The man, the myth, the legend. Isn't that the truth? Okay, let's put one there. Uh, yeah, let's put one in here, just for, you know, shits and gigs. Actually, let's make it real, uh, real difficult to get to and put it in the center. Because it's, uh, you know, it looks doony, but it's actually not going to be that doony. That ad. Oh, gosh. Yeah. I'm just going to put a little, little disclaimer in there. Uh, those of you who... Actually, let me double check and see where the ads are at. Might, might be able to actually take this opportunity and explain some ad stuff and what's going on with that revenue things. You're clear of ads? Ad flack! We're all clear of that. Oh, I don't want to put that there. No, that's off. That's off the screen. Let's put one there. Let's put a few minor installations. There we go. Ads. Ads are... Ads can be a bit of a pain in the rear, but the nice thing is... Oh, you're free! Nice thing is if you subscribe, you're ad-free. The not nice thing is we have to have ads because currently ads, if we run like the three minute ad thing, it increases our ad revenue on things. And with minimal subscribing and such, it's one of the best ways of making sure you can really pay for everything on the, on the stream. It keeps it to where it's less money out of my own pocket. So I apologize for the aggressive amount of ads, but at the same time, we, we really have to have ads on a, a regular basis. Otherwise, we go poor. We go broke. That's not part of the Grantina Senate. That's just a different city. They really want to be part of the Grantina Senate, though. Because right now they're part of the Savoth Dominion, and the Savoth Dominion is awful. It was just the timing. Yeah. Imagine the timing, though when you're doing a TTRPG. I could be in a really, really important moment and an ad will pop up. Oh, it's frustrating. But um, sadly, necessary. Okay, there are... What are those? 
What are those? I need to find them. Ah, there you are. These things. Want to increase that size? Because these things are all over in here. This little island. This little island of mine. I'm gonna watch it dine. On your soul and your health. Do you wanna play some quells? Sweeter burritos. Figured as may as well before I really get into the city creation. Finish off setting up these bits. Making sure that's uh, aware of what they look like. Ooh, let's decrease the size of that. Yeah, it's good enough. No, it looks awkward. It's not good enough. Ignore me. Mm, no, I don't like. I don't like it. Let's just leave it like that. Here we go, we And this is gonna be a greeny boy. Oh, hey, my opacity's gone. There we go. Uh, let's actually decrease that. Ooh, nope, not softness. Opacity again to 48. Sure, why not? And do that. Leave a little bit of sandiness there. And find tree. Oh, really? Come on. All right, yeah, because I'm in the wrong place. I'm a, I'm a ditty. Nice. There's my trees. Hello, trees. Uh, these ones. Increase the size. It is unrandomized. Good. Shablooey. These ones are a little less so. So bits and pieces of the Gruntina Senate. I've taken some inspiration from certain franchises like uh, The Mummy, the the second Mummy movie in, in particular. There's some fun, fun ideas I've taken from there and tried to implement a little bit of. And of course, Lawrence of Arabia, that's just a great film in general. If you haven't seen that one, you should. It's an old one though, so if you if you have problems with like graphic stuff, like some people I know, it might be a little uh, more difficult for you to get through. Imperfections, like I said, they don't all need to be the same size because imperfections are fun. They're happy little trees, yeah. Uh, little happy little trees. Happy, happy, happy. The thing with with ads is, as a creator, what I need to remember to do is to hit the ad break at specific times when I can, because it gives you a longer period where you don't have to see ads. Whereas if I let it run, normally it gives you like 30 minutes. But if I hit the, the button, it gives you an hour instead, doubles it. So it can be quite useful. Okay, so pathways, I've discovered the joys of pathways recently. I'm still learning how to... <laughs> how to really use these. Like, I'm going to use the blur effect and do... I think it's soft light or hard light. Hang on, let's... No, yeah, it's, it's, it's uh, not light at all. Oh, gross. Okay, so the blur radius, let's increase that to max. Because we can. Increase that there, shadowing effect. Oh, right, that, that'll that also do it. I need to change this. But pathways, look at that. That kind of looks like a trench now, right? If I increase my size and width to that, that's all just black, gross. Let's put you down to the third point three, but before I forget, let's do a save. Because I have added a lot now. And I don't want to lose what I've added now. 
Always remember to save your work. It's muy importante. Right, now, for pathways, this is going to, it may seem a little strange if I do this to you, but it's important for the law to have a nice crack that goes all the way down there. I don't want to be clicked into that. And then we're going to widen it. No, nope. don't want to do that. I'm going to go. Can I make this any larger? Well, I really can't. Well, fine, man. I see how it is. Just going to have to click out every single time. Which is fine. After a certain amount of this. Nice, I think it shows the right opacity on that. Yenlo, what's up, Zelda? How you be? How is the life? Do do do. Very good. A little deeper down there. This whole region's going to be a little darker, actually. Let's paint it a little bit more. Boop. Boop. Adds depth to the ocean. I suppose it's just looking straight blue. I'm still not very good at it yet. I'll get there. I'll get better. Only time will tell. Uh, actually, let's look at... Let's look at an actual image of the Earth and the world as reference. It's the Z to the A, Zelda! Coffee at the end. For some reason, Lily's very against coffee. They only do tea. Nice thing is there are some... Oh, see? Ain't that nice. Uh, there are some very highly caffeinated teas. I wonder... Hmm. Can I add what looks like regionous mountains underwater? You know, like the Mariana Trench. Oh, look at you... Gorgeous Mariana Trench. Yeah. The thing is, though, can I make them look blue? Hmm. That's a question. Hmm. It's ice. Those are all just ice textures. Water. Blue. Green. I'm in the wrong layer. Bottom layer. Nice. Gotta keep them separated. Black tea and... Black tea and are some most caffeinated. Uh, Lily tries to, uh, Lily used to eat people before we civilized them, so to speak, you might, you might say. Let's go to, back to our pathways. If I did this, it wouldn't make any sense, would it? No, it wouldn't. But I'm gonna do it anyway. Life doesn't need to make sense to work. That was an uncomfortable sentence, wasn't it? I really want to add those mountains. I'm going to figure out how to do that. I 
Don't want trees anymore. I want a mountain. <gasps> they added mountains with things inside them? Oh, cool. That's new. Okay, we could use a snow pack. Snow peaked ones. Snow capped. How are we going to do this? Grin. I'm listening. Life needs things to live, and my life needs coffee. Okay, now the question is... <laughs> I don't like that. I'm, I'm going to figure that out later. That was, that was a mistake. A mistake I needed to make, yes, but it was a mistake nonetheless. It just, it looks dull, right? Uh, like there needs to be a little bit more character added to certain bits. It is desert region though, so... It can afford to look a little dully. Dullish. Oh, I need to add green. That's what. I need to add specific little bits of green. I don't want to be in that layer. Okay, my opacity is down. So I can... Click around here. Ah, you see, there we go. Still looks deserty. Has a nice little green greenness added. Because I'm just looking at the map of the world. And in most desert region areas, like the, I mean, the Sahara Desert, obviously, there's just nothing, nothing there. But there's still colorization to it. And I want to add that color. Because I don't want it just to be this bland, deserty look. Maybe some brush and some... Ooh, red. Yes. That's a good call. These are all my lava textures. Red. Ooh, here we go. Parchment, land textures, wastes. This one might be... What's that? Okay, yeah, I can work with that. Oof, 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 too strong. Over here needs to add some whiteness to it because that's going to be nice and salty. Uh, let's. Nope. I like doing the single clicks and clicking around. Because it makes it look more finagly. Why don't they have a, a city over there? That's a good question. Oops. That was control Z. Oh my gosh, that's not what I wanted. Uh... Oh, bugger. Oh, fine. Fuck you. I'll do it myself. Boom. Silly little device not doing what I wanted it to do. It's going to be some general pathways, because this is a regional map, so it's understandable that they might include trade routes between the cities. And, of course, up here, actually, is probably going to... Mm, let's put those mountains in first. What do they look like? That's not what I wanted. Ah, those ones. What are those ones? I don't see them. Yeah, it's great. We'll use these. Size 17. Because we only need to do this. Mountains! Yay! And we can disguise a little bit. Like these ones might be a little bit more ready. 
Museum Dreaming of the Future. Ooh. Yeah, okay, I'll take your hint, Incarnate, and I'll save. Saving. Yeah, another thing I really like about Incarnate is the use rights. If you create it, you can use it for whatever you like. As long as you've got the uh, sub subdescription thingy, which I have, and it's really affordable. But the other one, from what I'm seeing, all reviews are basically it's better. I just need to look into it a bit more. So thank you, Fox, for the, the shout out. Because that's going to be very useful in the future. Potentially. That is making it look better. It's less dull now. And I'm already liking how this looks. I just need to figure out how to add a little bit more character to it. Hmm. I'll think about that later. And look at the map. Cool. It's like mineral deposits in places. Hmm. I don't need to hit space, but when I'm looking at that region. This area, actually, I can really definitely redden up a bit more. Doesn't need to be as deserty. Because these peaky bits. Peaky blyas. Nice. Let's really make this area obvious. Let's really make this end obvious. Very good. How about this region? Uh, let's make it around the city as well. Let's say that's a city inside. Actually, no, I know what I'm doing in that city. So nice. See, this has an overlay system. I just don't mess around with it. Because uh, I don't do tutorials. I do learning by experience. And I know that's not a very good way of doing things. It's a lot easier to do a tutorial. <laughs> right, Ak. Every time you do that, I think you're Elder Baz or the Eldritch Baz. But oh, hi, Right, Ak. How you doing? <laughs> it's like, are, it's, are you are you the continuation of the Eldritch Baz? Yeah. Okay. Cool. I'm not alone. It's good good to know my kindred spirit there is uh, doing the same. Zelda's got the Triforce. See that? That looks appropriate. We gotta come up with some lore, right act. Right, right act bass. It's the Rybass. The Rybass! Ooh. Slothy. Uh, right. What's. Oh my gosh. Right click. Right click. Right click. See, I've got more up here than I expected of this, so I need to region this out a bit more. Make it look a bit more heavily... Ooh, okay. Let's increase capacity on these bits. And then... There we go. That's better. Because while this is not technically the Grantina Senate, it's part of the Savoth Dominion. The Savoth Dominion is not entirely all desert. Okay, I've made changes. Yes, yes, yes. I'll save. Hans is now lurking. Welcome to the Ethereal Plane. And... Add a few more tokens. Boop. And boop, for the mountain regions, decrease the size of this, because that's way too freaking huge for a dune. Boop, boop, boop. Add one more for posterity. Can you tell I'm easily distracted by things? We're going to need to add another. Wow, you're huge. You're still too huge. Okay. 17. That's better. Boop. There's a city there too. Roughly. And... 
yeah, let's go back to painting a bit. We need parchment ocean. That's not ocean. I need salt. This will do it, right? Yeah, we go. This will confuse people, won't it? Let's go right up to the edge. Make it not blended at all so we can go through and do some nice and shiny blendy blendy. From time to time, uh, as a VR chat, a lot of people have been getting into the VR stuff. I've had a few people threaten to make, um, I say threaten, it's not really a threat, but say that they want to make an overlay thing, a uh, VR thing for Lily, so we have their the art for that. There we go. That should be decent enough, right? Now yeah, let's add a little bit more down here. Yeah. If I want to change that, I'll change it up a little bit. All right. I've added some colorization. Maybe let's make this a bit more thicker in the green around it. We do need to add a little bit of green circles to each of these cities. Because while they are in the desert, they are heavily magical, and there are many magical ways of creating lush green areas that you can make your own vegetation in. And this is a self-contained country. Which basically means they supply their own foods, but they're a desert region, so how do they do that? Green circles. These two are not going to have any. Those are just military bases. That's going to be a confusing one. I'm not going to put one around there. God bless druids. God's blessed druids, I guess. Delport Breckland. Hey, what are you doing? How are you doing? What are you doing? I was I was reading something and speaking at the same time. Icon settlements. Those round, yeah. So I use compasses for icon for uh, settlement icons because it's just it's simple and easy to do. And I can leave things as uh, vague, essentially. Because if you do city in here, while they do look good, I mean, you've got human, that they look very specific towards race kinds. And most of the places I do have a very large mix of different races, so I use compasses instead and different types of compasses to really signify the importance of individual places. What is going on with this circle? Oh, right, yeah. It's this pathway. Whee! Oh, I'll have to fix that. I'm gonna make it a bit more... sensible. I say sensible. It's still not very sensible, is it? It is getting into deeper ocean, so there is still that sensibility to it. And... Yeah. Cool. Let's lower the opacity a smidge. 
can lower our width a smidge. Create one over here as well. Close the canyon. Adds a little bit more depth to it. Riding a roller coaster currently. Really want to try it in VR. Oh. VR roller coasters. Ain't that a blast. Okay. What are we doing with this little island? Right. We need to actually add some of these. Oh, that's that that's too small. That's just minuscule. That's too big. Wait, no. W-A-S. There it is. Let's lower down that size. Mm, I don't like that one. We'll put you there. There we go. Let's increase that opacity back to a 0.42 and add a little bit more colorization there. Let's put a bit more patchy colorization. Ooh, that's that's too thick. I'll fix that later. Or it could be a happy mistake. Now nah, I'll fix it later. Let's take that opacity, put it down to a nice solid 0.11 and go hog wild, I think, a little bit. Do basic layer. Cover up a little bit more of what might look to be patchiness of that redness. Seems a bit better. Decrease the size. Let's increase that. There we go, that's better. Noish. Should make an Albert theme park someday. Ooh. Oh gosh. That seems like a lot of effort. Lord of Lord of Effort. Does that seem like enough? It doesn't seem like enough. Let's do a few more. Oh, gross. 17. Let's do one there. Let's do one there. And... Hmm. Let's move this one. Well, they are not at war with the Belashtar Kingdom. They definitely don't trust them. So, why would you not have military encampments in place along the entire border? I would say the same thing for this one. However, there's, there's reasons why they don't. It would be cool to have Malbaran and Theme Park. It'd be dopey dope. All right. What is this missing other than the names of the settlements? Got to add something to it because I think it's still missing something. I feel like it's still, you know what? Let's add the names and then let's talk about that. Huh, how do I do the curves again? All right, A and Q. Q? No, that's the wrong way. Boop the snoot. We might need to decrease the size of this for the other minor ones. 
And by might, I mean I'm going to. And size. Right, I need to right click first. Let's go to about half, maybe? Yeah, half. Half works. Let's do you there? You there? Down a little bit. Oh shoot, I forgot one. That is a-okay. We'll solve that later. Uh, shloop. 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 Ah! No. 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 Well, fine then. Nope. That, that didn't work the way I wanted it to. I did a thing, and I didn't like it. Right click. Boop. Test. Actually, do I need to put names on these military? Ah, uh, yeah, probably. We'll cross that bridge when it matters, but we'll put these things there for now. That one I'm probably going to put underneath. No! Shoot! Sticks! Really? Come on now. We're going to go back to 24. You actually are going to get curved. Ah, oh, what a turd. There we go. Nope, wrong way. That's too much. There you go. Always right click. I always forget to do it. Uh, oh, whoops. I shrunk it instead of curving it. Ah, oh, what a turd. Talking about myself here. Because my clicky click is just not working. My brain's not working. There we go. No idea if that's the right curve amount. Stop it. Curve 21. Nope. Wrong way around. Nah! That is nice. That's nice. Well, at least an Alberin Tavern, or an Alberin with a Salty Kraken Tavern. We can call it the Salty Inn. Or the Alber Kraken. Kraken the Alber. <laughs> right. Names. Nope. This one is Stronrith. This one is Dres Dresdriff. Dresdiff. Now, why do I do this to myself? I always come up with weird names and can never actually pronounce my own names. It will never be as bad as Yark, though, because good grief. Never intended for that, but I'm glad it happened. Plebus. All right, Plebus, you need to go up a layer, a couple layers. Apparently, this guy just needs to go down a layer. That's weird. Okie dokie. You need to go up too. And you are called Jumiri. Noise. 
And you are not going to fit. Actually, no, you are. Vlock. Nice and short name. Count me fortunate. Is that Cropton? Why did I spell it with a Q? Because I'm weird. Cropton. Oh, you need to go up too. Noise. And as for the other ones, I don't have names for them. That's why I'm doing this. Because the, the big map doesn't have the owl barrel. The owl's barrel. Ooh. The owl's barrel is kind of like cracker barrel, but different. Instead of doing entirely breakfast stuff, we'll do, uh, we'll mix everything up. We'll do dinner for breakfast, breakfast for lunch, and lunch for dinner. How about that? And in the morning, we'll serve beer. Or in the evening, we won't do an alcohol stuff. We will just serve coffee and tea. Mix everything up. And when someone asks us, why are you serving beer at 8 a.m.? We'll answer, it's 8 o'clock somewhere. 8 o'clock? 5 o'clock somewhere? <laughs> it would be a niche thing. I, I bet people would love it. You heard it here first, folks. TM. Trademarked. Trademark the idea. Or, you know, open it up and let us know, and we'll just advertise for you. Ah, coffee. I'm at the age where, if I don't finish this cup of coffee in about 45 minutes or so, I'm going to be up all bloody night. Okay, let's take a sit back, look at this, and gander for a moment. Now this is the moment where you all can come up with some fun, clever names while I refill one of my glasses with uh, Murray's water. And tell me what I should name these smaller little cities. Give me some names. Por favor, please. Assist. I need assistance. That's happening, Brando. I love that name. I'm, I'm putting... Which one? Which one do you want it to be? This one down here? This one up here? This one over 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 here? Left on the coast. So this guy. Schmurgle. <laughs> Oh, I love it. Okay, Schmurgle. <laughs> That's great. Oh, a peculiar name. I love peculiar names. Zelda, this drink is clear and it throws me off. Zellum. Ooh, Zellum. That's happening. Where should I put Zellum? Ooh, I actually, I'm going to number these. Zoom in a little bit. Was that? Oh gosh. What happened there? Two. Let's make three over here. Three. Four. Military encampments. I'm gonna name. I'm just gonna call them military encampments. I think. They're not really going to have... Oh, no, I already have a four. What am I doing? It's failing at life, that's what I'm doing. Actually, I'm succeeding in life. I'm always succeeding in life. That's a joke. I actually do genuinely fail. And sometimes I just like to have a, a confidence in myself and tell myself that I do well. Trying to convince myself and such. All right, what number should be Zellum? One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and eight. I'll tell you this much: I think I'm going to make six yin. Four yin is six. Four Zellum. I can see four being being a Zellum. 
Yeah. Let's do Zelm there. Test, 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 test. Text. Uh, number five, we're going to call something with the word salt in it. I want to say the salt flats, but that just, that's too, that's too, uh, laissez faire. Saltlands? Saltlandia? Hey, Chef Hunter, how you doing? We're making maps today. You want to name a city? Any of the ones with the, the numberations to it? Let's zoom in a little bit. Oh, right. So there's one, two, three, five, eight, and seven left. Salt Bay, no. Saltmium? Ooh, haha. <laughs> you know what? I like it. Saltmium. Yeah, that's got a fun feel to it. Thanks, Brando. Glendafu. Ooh. Ooh. That's a. F I, I want to call this one Glendarthu. Number seven. That feels. That feels really appropriate there. Goblin juice is flowing at the moment. Yeah. As our wonderful Hans would say, yeah, boy. I'm not going to steal his catchphrase, though. Is a ruler called a saltine? <laughs> they are now. <laughs> I'm writing that down. Where's my notebook of thoughts? Here we go. <laughs> saltine. <laughs> Just of that city, though. Just of that one. They're, they're, they have a bit of a different rule, you know. Alright, so one of my friend mates uh, told me the other day, or was asking me questions about in regards to certain spells, and we discovered that the darkness spell, if it's obscured, it disappears. So, and you can cast it on objects, or uh, is it on objects, or was that light spell? One of those two spells. If you cover it up, it's no longer an effect. So, what if you cast it on a rock and then put that rock in your mouth? You can have a flashlight coming out of your mouth or a darkness being emitted from your mouth and then you can cover it up. Well, the darkness goes around corners, so when you open your mouth, it would cover around that 60 foot radius. But then you can cover it up by closing your mouth because there are no corners to wrap around and it gets obscured fun thoughts I'm definitely going to be using that in the future to torment people with final fantasy now I know how to Ooh. and laws I really want to get into final fantasy lore a lot more but it's just so in depth and I've got a world I have to create. So my, my lower brain is already occupado massively. And Star Wars kind of... Star Wars is my forefront. I love Star Wars. Out of your ears. You know, that's a fair point. Because there is a... There is connection. You would have to clock... You're right. You're right. Yeah, the darkness would. If we're going to go that finite in details, it would come out of your... Maybe more so nose than ears. Because I feel like the ear cavities might be closed off enough. But I think you're right still. I think I'm wrong in that. My memory's telling me that they are closed off enough because of the eardrum stuff, and it's the sound berries that are going through the ears. But I, I could be very, very wrong with that, and you could be very, very right. Let's go with you right and be wrong. So yes, it goes out the nose and the ears. That's a good point. Air can still pass. Yes. Yes. So, yeah, I'm wrong. I'm definitely wrong in that. So it'll come out of your ears as well. Oh, see? There we go. I mentioned the thing and you debunk it immediately. I love it. Thank you. 
Now I can t tell him it wouldn't work with darkness. Unless you plugged up your... And, and also eyes, yeah, yeah, from the, the tear ducts in your eyes. It would come out of there too. Unless you clogged all those things. Small passages within the tear ducts, yeah. All right. Looks like I need four more names at least. I'm just gonna call these uh, an encampment because they they are just military encampments. Actually, if the military encampments, would they be on the map? Let's ask that question. Would they actually be on there? Do they move around or are they stationary? That's an important thought. I feel like they might be stationary. Cause, but that also it just makes it more, uh, yeah, stationary. Stationary just makes sense. But they might have also been in place long enough that they would have a general name as well. If the map was made by locals. So yeah, the idea of uh, Incredible Mr. Fox is they would this would be made by a local. But the question is, would the local know the movements of the military within the place? Like, is it a civilian map or... Ooh, we're getting into finite details here. I might have to save this map in multiple different ways to where, depending on where they get the map from, they might have different titling to it because that's part of the reason why I'm even making these regional maps because the, the big map, here, I'll pull that in to screen again. The big map is, oops, sorry about the flash, everyone, uh, is, uh, it's not detailed enough. As you can see, there's only Gropton, Stronrith, Drestif, and uh, Plebis and Yando. Drumiri, Vlok on here. The other little cities are not there. Venus Court was enthusiastic. You should have my name. Glendother was being a Star Wars enthusiast. Ooh! I'm terrible with names. I've always been terrible with names. Adventurous level. Warnings. Locals know the surroundings and ongoings. They would be smart enough to track and stay out of military business. So, okay, yeah. Probably not. They would probably wouldn't know enough to know who's in control of the encampments so and no name. But they would know that there's a military encampment around that area. You're right. Brainstorming. So we're just doing encampments here. So, uh, eight is actually also going to be an encampment because that's the edge of the border. And who cares if it's off? I do, actually. I, I painfully care. I'm gonna put it like this instead. Oh gosh. I also. Typing, typing, typing. That's not how you spell encampment. I got all the right letters just in the wrong place. There we go. Okay, which means I need three more. Three more names. Let's see. Put the Venus Court. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> Autocorrect. It does weird things, doesn't it? Have a nickname for it. That's true. But that also would might go into details of splendors as a gem rich place. Uh, ooh, gem rich locations would actually be inside the, the northern mountain regions, which has been overtaken by the Norwalk Empire. So gems actually in this area are highly limited, which is my way of limiting the diamond supply, because in the current campaign, the diamond supply is too rife. It's, it's, there's, there's too much. They found ways to find and make more diamonds, and it's difficult 
to make a realistic type situation of characters dying away when the players know how to get diamonds easily and they figured it out pretty early on so it's really hard there and they've they've died several times many of them have but they've constantly always been prepared for it and always had the way to survive and live again so this time i'm really trying to limit it and this time around the the diamond supply area is and the gem supply area is overtaken by an empire that will not work with anyone else so it's severely limited I'm saying this time, campaign two is not for like another nine months or so. I'm just trying to get ready for it. Play Zella Barbarian, you don't need diamond to revive. That's a good point. It is. But that's one class. I don't think they're all, they're not all gonna play Zella Barbarians. I already know a couple of the players' class choices. Now here's what I do typically for naming schemes. I go, I just sit here, I look around me. Okay, I just saw an orca. It's up my little uh, drinking glass. Unkillable PC, hmm. They're terrible, aren't they? They're terrifying for a DM, that is, I say not terrible. They're just hard to, hard to deal with. Especially if your goal as the DM is to kill your players. Which, that's, I say is my goal, but it's not. I don't actually want to, because I can derive a, a bad gaming experience if you do. It's more, I want it to feel like the people who are against them genuinely want them to be gone. And to do that, the best way to do that is to be very, very serious and try to actually kill their character. Challenge the, the players is more of a feel, yeah. Definitely want to challenge them. Make them think more. The problem is my my Sunday group, they're, they're not really thinkers, they're doers. So how do you compensate for that? Or morph them into something different? Ooh, I do have vampires in this world. I do have uh, one vampire that was created. And that goes into a lot of the lore behind the world itself. Okay, so this one is Orca, Orkin? Orcas. Orkith. No, I already have an ith. An if. An in and us. Let's try to end up with a... Let's try to end up with a V. Orkav. Orkave? Orkin, Borkin, Smorkin, Dorkin? <laughs> Vaughn's got that one. Actually, he's got a character named that. You'll, you'll, I think you'll meet him next Saturday. He's playing him in the in the one shot. Uh, or or Kav or maybe if we just do or or Okiv Orkiv. That's Orkik. Orkiv. 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 Throw an e at the end there because we can. Or cave or cave. There we go. It's challenging and confusing enough of a name that they will have difficulty pronouncing it, and that's what I love doing to my players. Because as much as a, of a fuss as I make of Yark, I really enjoyed the fun and the the laughs we had with the uh, the whole Yark situation. Two more, two more names. Challenge convention, convictions, challenge morals, decisions, money management. Challenge the character, not the player. It's difficult to do that. Zenkari, I like that name. I love that name. Uh, oh, two or three, two or three, Chav. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you choose which one. Uh, so it's difficult to do that depending on the players. Like one one group I had it was really easy to do that with because my style really worked well with their play style with this one though if they don't roll with it ooh, actually I will literally roll with it I'm gonna roll a d4 
I'm gonna come up with it. And Koshin. Koshin's getting the second one, Mr. Fox. Okay, two. Zenkari and Koshin. Magnificent. Oh, fantastic. Beautiful. Look at that. And I think I'm gonna go I'm gonna do nicknames. Cause they're they're coming in here. But these are gonna be more like straightforward type nicknames. Uh Do I actually really want to I might I might come around to that again. I might come around to that thought in a later time. But challenging the players. Uh, you really have to know your players to do that. You really, really need to. And the players need to have to go on through the norming stage with each other to work well with each other so you can challenge them as a group. Individually, challenging is... City's multiple names. Interesting. I've never really done that before. I might actually do that with the Savath Dominion, though, now that you mention it, because the Savath Dominions recently split off from a different one. Each conquering empire changed the name. That's a good point. That is a good, uh, good aspect to really introduce in. Like Jumari, or Jumeri. Or Jui, Jumeri? Ju yeah, yeah, that one. I named it, and I still don't know how to pronounce it. That one probably has a different name at this point. Or it might be going through the process of trying to be renamed. Because it's split off from the original one. Okay, I'm going to pull the map. Uh, there's going to be a flash. Sorry about the bright light. Bright light! So, over here. Let's zoom in a little bit more. The Vizuth Republic used to be this entire region. So this entire section here. And the Savath Dominion recently split off from the Vizuth Republic for their own means and own region, uh, reasons. Uh, all religious reasons, because uh, the gods being having their own reinstating or dying off type situations. Vizuth Republic being very religious inside their, their ways, following the gods very deeply. And the Savath Dominion following Eshnar very deeply. Neshna is a very, very bad god, as we know now. He's a very, very bad person. But they, they took the southern half, and the Vizuth took the northern half, and they are at constant war with each other. And the invading forces of the Nawak Empire has split the Trilic Union. So the right hand is now the states of Optula, who are self-governed, while the Trilic Union cannot get runners or communicate with them easily. Teleportation, still new in this world, as a reminder. So teleportation circles are very limited, getting around is very difficult, flying vessels, those are also new, they exist, but doing both those things, hiring a teleportation or hiring a flying vessel, is going to be very expensive to do. Put a few hidden cities, some underwater cities that only you know about, yes, I do have those. Yeah, so... An idea here is in here there is actually a hidden tomb that and the false marsh the the false oasis it's called the false oasis because it's not actually there it's an oasis that's somewhere in the Grantina Senate that moves they'll have to figure out why it moves but there is a tomb in the Grantina Senate area it is a quest or a possible quest plot line that they can pick up on and they can go in and explore the tomb and try to figure out what's going on inside there. It's a possible aspect of gaining more riches, getting more fame, more renown, and such. But th those do exist. They do. I'm just not putting them on the map for lots of lovely little reasons. Lots of forgotten kingdoms under the sea. How? I, I can't because I don't have a, a full on world map of this area, so I can't show you that. Many hidden secret cities, I love it. I do have one as well, uh, a full-on, full-blown 
hidden city in the false in the marshlands up here and the marshland bandits i've i've not put and where any of their cities are because no one knows where their cities are well they do but at the same time they don't like this area according to lore used to be a kingdom at one point used to be part of the kingdoms but due to certain reasons that I won't go into details right now they are not they're not actually part of the state of Abtula the Dwarf Empire or the kingdom of Balashtar Flalo, Hindral and Hara are all self-governed and no one really wants to go there 25 player campaign with 5 parties of 5 holy crap <laughs> Chavante you're nuts I admire that. You're nuts. Props to you, good sir. Or good being. Uh, excuse me. Good being. I do try to avoid gendering until I know what gender is due to circumstances. They're all kids. Wow. I, I do way too dark campaigns and I'm not sure how to calm the darkness of my campaigns so I'm scared to DM for kids so props to you he him cool thank you chat hunter I have three parties playing my game at the same timeline wow how did you coordinate those Fox because I did so if I'm gonna save this and pull up well, you know, Fox, I, I believe you know Skepti. I'm not going to use the, the real name, but... Skepti actually had a direct influence on one of these maps. Not that one. Where is it? Do, 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 do. Oh, that's Aramathos. I need to get around to that one eventually again, too. Not that one, that's a different world. Uh, here we go. Do, 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 do. You're doing great, Incarnate. Up here. The city of Pi? That's all Skepti's fault. That's all his fault. He played a weird, weird character. It was a fox frog mix and created a cult. So I had to include it in the actual lore of things and threw it in there. Yeah, yeah, I think I told you about that one. That's weird cult that I was happy to kill off. More than happy to kill off. Because they're a pain. The cult of Quayla, which is a continent. <laughs> cult of Quayla and the Church of Pi. I still feel like it's missing stuff. Other than names, hang on. I've got a few more names I need to add in to places. Let's change the... Where's the opacity here? This opacity should be at 0.4. Let's add a little curvature to it. Nope, wrong way. Maybe that much. The Iguin River. Let's twist it a smidge to fit and maybe decrease the size down to 20. There we go, that's better. And add another one here. So we're gonna decrease this size down to 15. You are the false, ooh, enter, oasis. False oasis, booyah. And I'm pretty sure I have a name for the ocean. I just cannot remember it right now. Hang on, let me look at my handy dandy notebook and see if I can find it. Uh, 
Everything here was hand drawn for I it's not there. That's that's revolting. Have you ever used the random table of tavern names games in city books? I haven't. I I use randomized name tables for character names, for NPCs and such, but I've never done it for cities, mainly because I like to sit there and just look around me and try to come up with a name. In accordance to that, let me try to find the name of this ocean. Mindrath. It's the Mindrath Ocean. Do, 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 do. Over here. We can really increase your size back up to... Uh, let's put you back to 24. Mindrath Ocean. Shiny, shiny. Uh, maybe get rid of that curve. Now you just straight up. Put it in the corner. Even the same opacity. Move you back up to top. Uh, where's my curve? No, there's the curve. Well, what am I? Dupe. There we go. Oh, it means I need to do that to the Mindrath Ocean too. No, that's not the... That's, there we go. Thank you. Boop. Now it's even. And add a token. Where's my banner? Banners. There you are. This is the one I like. We need to add a little curve. Come on, come on, select the right one. I know I've put you in a place where there's a lot of other stuff. Thank you. Nope, wrong way. One more, one more. There we go. And instead of decreasing that in size, come on, I can find it. There we go. Let's increase this a bit in size. And move ya right, right there. That can move. And they can increase in size too. Yeah, let's increase them a bit more. Let's go about... That's good. That's too big. How about there? Nah, it's still too big. Boo hiss. There we go. Shiny. Dapper. Splendid. Maybe a few more of these. Got to add a little bit more busyness. And now that we've done things and thought about it, should we nickname these encampments? That's a thought. But for the most part, I keep a journal of what the parties do and the dates and the maps really ran into each other, but they did pass each other on the road quite a bit. Ooh. Pocket Companion, a guide to city and towns. I'm doing that right now. Ooh. Oh, cool. It's a whole Kindle book, 151 pages. <sighs> Sweet. Oh, that's cool. Thank you, Jeff Hunter, for that shout. I'll have to look in more into that. Definitely for sure.
Okay, what's missing? Is anything missing? It's super cheap. Yeah, you're right. Definitely very, very affordable. November is my um, Christmas shopping time, though, for my family. And I'm, I'm, a, I'm a gift giver. I, I like giving gifts to people. So I, I do my best to try to save a little bit to so I can spoil my friends and family. So January, <laughs> I'll get that in January. <laughs> Hopefully when I've recovered. The big, big question though is, am I missing anything? Because if I'm not, if we're loosely happy with where this is at currently, I'm going to move into doing a regional map of the Savoth Dominion and uh, the Zuth Republic. Put it in your wish list. I have. Yes, I just did. Just did. That is 100% in there now. I have another one in my wish list. Uh, uh, let me find it. Uh, spectacular settlements. A lot more expensive. No one near as uh, affordable. But. It's, it also looked like a good one. But that one, that one's coming first though now. Pocket Companion. Oof. Cool. It's the monster, the monster know what they're doing. Well, that one's getting locked up. Really spices up combat. I'm bookmarking this. This is why I like doing streams like this, because I get a lot of shouts for things that I can use in the future as well. And a lot of help of how to improve, improve what I'm doing. Because I'm not perfect. I always need to improve. Tavern games table, everyone play. What is that? The rule? Some can do good and bad. So like 18 can be 28 good. Ooh, 19 can be 28 good. And so on and so forth for all. Nice. Oh, 19 can be good, 18 can be bad. Okay. Okay. Shiny. Let's maybe name some of the islands, actually. Islands have names, right? It's also just occurring to me. Oh, gosh, I didn't click into it. It's not flavor of the rose and so on. Nice. You can do the flavoring yourself. Yeah, one of the reasons I mostly use my own content and create my own content is because I, I don't like taking other people's stuff and then adding my own flavorations to it. I always want to try to honor the flavor that they put into it. But at the same time, that also means you have to learn all the lore and learn all the flavor that they do it and it's just easier to make your own so you it's easier to follow your own flavoration to things have a name and a map name true right now this whole thing this whole region is just the archipelago of the gods but these are mapped out islands. Something about pillars, and pyres on this one. The jutted island? Is that a word? Jutted? Jagged. I think the word I'm thinking of is jagged. Oh, gross. Go up and lay it, dude. 
Okay, you go down in layer. You as well. Doesn't matter if I put any of those ones. Let's put you at the bottom layer. And weigh everything else. I spelled senate as sentate. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Okay, come on. Uh, how did it take me that long to find that spelling error? Yay! Oh, and of course it's not even anymore. Come on now. Shiny. There we go. Fake islands like a dead dragon turtle. It's not an island, but people think it is. I've played around with ideas and concepts on that. Like, I, I settled with the the concept that the the mansion that Marcus runs inside the Sunday campaign... It's actually built, or well, it's stationed on a giant dragon turtle that can go underwater and go above, but the dragon turtle was old age and made the deal. The dragon turtle's dead now, but it's technically undead and continues living on. You know, little concepts like that. Oh, Argentina beat Mexico. No, they're not done yet. Come on, Mexico. Get a few scores. There's nothing wrong with getting inspiration from someone or making a tribute to them. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, there are, there is a, a group that's part of a guild. They're specialized in hunting ghosts and undead and other things like that. The names are Sean, Dami, and uh, the other one they just call him Sir. And if you can figure out where the reference is, Kudos. I love introducing little tiny hints and shout outs to franchises that I enjoy and series that I enjoy greatly. All right, I need to chug this cup of coffee because it's almost two o'clock and it's strange that I know my time frame for coffee, but two is my time frame. After I truck lush, ho, oh, I think it's due for a five minute break. I like using anag anagrams for names, yeah. <laughs> Mine, I just took the, the letterizations at the beginning of each of them and <laughs> switched them. It's it's it, it's fun because it also makes it apparent that you're making the shout out to them, but it also keeps it separate enough that it's not too obvious. Hellboy's true demon name. I don't actually know Hellboy's true demon name. Confession. I probably should because I know a lot of people who are huge fans of Hellboy. Anyway, after I chug the coffee coffee, we do a five minute break and then we'll move into, we'll move on from this, let it sit for a bit so we can have our brain do the thinkies, right? And like sit for a couple of weeks. Because once you sit for a while and you come back to something after a bit, you'll, you see the things and you know what you need to fix and you know what you need to add. Yeah, yeah, I'll do an ad break when I go. That's a good, that's a good call. Mr. Fox. Uh, but we'll go into the Vesuth and Savoth Dominion after that. And thank you for the reminder, Fox. Because I would have, I totally would have forgotten. Oh, can I do one? When will I let me do one? Must wait to run another. You know what? I'll wait to go until that lights up again. And continue staring at this for a while. Because we'll come up with island names after that. 
later on, maybe. It's also mountain ranges. I haven't named any of the mountain ranges either. Have I? No, I haven't. Silly me. That's probably something I should have done. Oh, well. Oh, pre-rolls are off for another 12 minutes. Well, I'll be here for another 12 minutes. Let's see. Gilftop Gorge. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I made his so that and just thought, guys, I'd like to top gorge. <laughs> Names like that make me laugh so much because it's... Some people, it'll just fly right over their head. But as soon as you say it, other people will just start laughing right out the, right out the gate. Yeah, one more drink of coffee and I'll be done with the pot. Or a cup. Technically pot. I drank a pot today. Oh boy. Okay, you know what? We got 12 minutes. I'm going to save this and I'm going to start the works of doing the other ones. Because again, as a reminder for the size of this continent, the size it is, we've got... This continent is... Roughly a thousand miles. Roughly. <laughs> you, 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 you pull a mouse on them. Uh, you, you do a uh, Disney introducing, or just uh, kids films in general, actually, introducing really adult themes that they will not know and understand. And when you're an adult, you go back and watch it again and immediately see, oh, hey, how did I miss that? That's great. That's great. Okay, that's saved. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go to maps. Tasty. Let's make another one. What's this one need to be? This one, of course, fantasy regional again. I think this one needs to be a portrait. E. Actually, square, because it's pretty wide too. 643. Yeah, square. It's about the same. Same either way. We're going to be getting certain bits of. Right. Let's not make Ethan upset. He's not even here, but it doesn't matter. If he watches this, I'll get an immediate message from him going, Why did you do that? We don't actually need to make it purely sandy sand anymore. We can actually leave it the way it is. Do a subtract. So I'm going to move this over here again. Flash. <laughs> Whoops. This is the region we're focusing on now. So these bits. So we're probably going to get... Whoop. That's not what I meant to do at all. Let's go to the object layer. Haha! -ha. This whole portion. 
Now, of course, this regional map is not going to have the encampments on it. So we, we can ignore those bits. But we'll have a good chunk of the, the mountain range on the right. So Nadana is going to be over there. It's going to be signified. Just the tip of Nadana, probably. The Iguin River... I don't have a name for this. I probably should have a name for it. Just an inlet. And then the mountain range here. Yeah, I definitely need to have a name for this mountain range. Good grief. I did not think about those things. I, I live in very, very mountainous regions and I did not think about it. Uh, silly me. What is wrong with my face? So many things. So many things. We got that bit. This area is nice and divided right there. So we'll probably have to put a, a general borderline. Now there's not going to be true military encampments. It's going to be more of a front line of combat. Because these two are at war with each other. So it's different, different things to consider. Different thoughts to have. Another reason why I'm doing regionals. Also, because one of my players, his first thing he does every single time is does his best to find a regional map or a map of the whole area. The Bannoberg Mountain Range. Hang on. Nope, it's two. There you go. Sabath Vesuth. Before I forget, before I forget, we're going to do that now. We're going to name it. Come on. Turn the maps. It's probably also because it's a desert that looks so bare. This is prior. We don't want to change the prior. Because the prior is no longer relevant. Noise. Oop. What if I took this? Very good, very good. Good doop. Seeping Peak Mountains. Ooh. I like that one too. Oh, there's the ad. Hey. There's the ad. We're going on break after I name this. Uh, Bono Berg Mountains. And. What? Ah! Ah! Break time.
Ah, it's the wrong button again. There we go. There's the right one. Hello everyone, I'm back. Hopefully you enjoyed those uh, concept art things. Uh, not always, not typically a fan of AI art usage, but I, I can't I can afford to pay a natural artist for, for real, real, real good art. So I have to resort to those means in certain ways. Just concept ideas of different aspects and different parts of the world that I have. So we've got the Seeping Peaks. Put them right here. It's a very, very unseeable. Let's, let's increase that opacity. 2.6. There we go. And the Bonneberg Mountains. They're officially a thing. Let's delete that space and go like that. Shablooey. Perfection. Don't know what I've done there. Noise. Let's save that. And slap it up a do. Perfection. Let's go down back to this massive landmass. Uh, pardon the flash. As I get my resource of what this is supposed to look like. Oh boy. How am I gonna do this? Because this one's more complicated. Okay, first, let's start with up here. Maybe increase it a little bit to 20. Leave a little landmass on that side. Follow around. Go down and around again. And down and up. Down and over. Uh, oh gosh, that, that doesn't look good, does it? No, that's too much. Let's cut, actually, around there. And do that. And do that. There we go. That's maybe a little better. These aren't going to be precise, precise. Because regional... Regional maps, they are difficult to maintain and stay true. That's too high up. Let's cut in. Maybe it wasn't too high up. No, it wasn't too high up. It wasn't at all. That's too far over, though. Let's fill in those bits. Oops. Kaboop. The jittering jungle. Whoo. Jittering jungle. That's going to be a name. That's going to be a name. Let's throw a nameplate down there. So we can remember that. So that'll probably go over here. It's going to be a whole jungle area over there. And back over here. This needs to go like that ish. It's not wide enough. So she cut that mountain range a bit more. There we go. Let's 
That's better. This isn't out enough. We can actually probably take this. And cut it straight like that. Cut back a little bit more on that landmass. Leave that island because it's fun. Cut downwards. Widen this out a bit more. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. I'm digging what I'm putting down so far. Go in like that a bit. Get rid of that. Take this bit and go in and end about right there. Let's widen that portion, the mouth of that inlet out, and get rid of all this. Cool. Well, that's going bye bye. Let's lower that and do that. Dabber. Oh, I don't need to hit the space bar for roll 20. Actually, let's hit that. Use one of our snooze on the ads. We'll snooze those ads for a bit. Get more of a precise perfection. Okay. Let's actually keep the opacity up. So we can do this. Around that region, it's going to go green. That's too far up. I went too far up with that. That is okay. I will use that in the blending. And we need to find a deeper green. This one. Now, of course, that is way too thick for the deepness that we're looking for. However, we're going to blend it. Afterwards, I find it easy to blend once I've had my thought. This needs to go out a bit further. Need to add. Portions like that. There we go. Because you are going to go up to that point and then wrap up like that. We're going to colour in that whole region, the green. Do a nice even split ski. Well, that looks weird, doesn't it? Let's blend. Random little click skis, 
so we can get some nice lighter regions and then do some follow throughs like this to get rid of that even jaggedness. That way there's no clean line and it looks blended. That's better. Isn't that nice? Some nice little happy little blending. Still looks a little too liney for my liking. Of course, there's going to be a lot of. Uh, ooh, didn't mean to do that. Ohio. Ohio, how you doing? There's going to be a lot of tokens over that region. So a lot of the dark coloration is going to be hidden behind the jungles and mountains in the spots. So we don't necessarily need to be worried about these in, bit, in bits right here. They're going to be covered up by some bits. But we also don't want it to be too thick and deep in colorization. Whoop, 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 whoop. So the blend job doesn't have to look super, super duper pretty. It can be a little uh, finicky, some might say. There's going to be mountains in there. Let's get rid of some more of those even lininess, make it look uneven. Food time! Good luck on the food. Have fun scavenging. You actually need to be a bit more. There we go. That's better. Okay. Tokens. I don't want to add that map. Let's add mountains first. These peaks are going to be nice green mountains. That's too big. Oop, that's too far over. I'll fix that later. So is that. So is that. This is where we get a little more uh, token heavy. These are going into the rivers, but that is A-OK -okay for now. Get to over there. Let's choose the other mountains. These ones. How are those ones gigantic and these ones not? They need to be around the same size. Shiny. Leaving a couple gaps. Nah, it's not a bad thing. Oh, yikes. Come on now. Do, 
do some twists. Some twists and turns. Some more twists. We're not seeing the full peaks, the full mountains. That's okay. Uh, not you. This one. Oh, come on, you turd. There we go. So if we take these and we move them in just a smidge to not be over the ocean, we can then take this, make them much smaller. And still introduce peaks along these edges and make it look a bit more natural. Gross. Too large. Too big. Cover up some areas. There we go. Not a problem that we have a little showing, because... Eh. It's okay. It's fine. These are plains. We need trees. Jungle trees, to be precise. Those are swamp trees. Here are jungle trees. That's going to be too small. Give me a larger. Nope, that's still not big enough. Maybe 257? Nope. Maybe 217? Yeah, yeah, that's good enough. Now, speaking of moving cities, actually, the Savoth Dominion's capital city is a moving city. No one knows how they do it. But it does move. It can never be found. And when it is found, it moves again. So it's no longer found. These regions need to look busy, but I don't want the image to be too busy. Because too busy is just too many assets, too many tokens on there. It's really told me I need to save. Because I have already added a few hundred. There's 185 objects on here already. <laughs> oh, we can get too busy. Mm, mm. Oh, Hans, we always get too busy. There you go, there's a rolling of the tongue. Those trees actually can probably... You know what, actually? Let's make them smaller. There we go. Of course, when I made that smaller, it made everything else smaller. 214, that's close enough. Add a few misplaced ones that seem a little out, so it can... Signify the start. But this should hopefully give you an idea of how difficult the terrain of the front line really is between these two nations. Because the Azuth Republic is going to be ending right up here. So I'm not actually going to be putting any of the Trillic on this one, thankfully. So 
This might turn out to be... Yeah, cool, cool, cool. Okay, let's get a general idea of this. Crowd this one up a bit more. Slowly but surely. We're getting the jittering jungle to look much more active. Because these areas, each of these is less than half, like uh, the Vesuth and the Savoth. They're, they're less than half the size of the Grantina Senate. Only about 300 each. Tall and wide. Miles, that is. 300 miles. And most of the fighting is jungle terrain. Traveling around here, not easy to do. Irida is very dangerous territory. Very dangerous territory. Cool. Okay, so that's general tokens down. I'm not going to go into detail on this because it's a regional map. The only real detail I need to do is the region that matters. This needs to go down a little bit further. I just realized that. Yeah, like that. Nope, that's a bit too much. Smidge too much right there. There we go. And we need to paint it. Oop, let's put that opacity back up. Shablooey. That's where the city's going. Okay. Ow. Compass. I heard it myself. It was an accident, I promise. Let's put you to 30. Shabloop. Shabloop. We need to add a few more. Tree. Ooh, gross. You're so small. Ah! Yeah, 219. That'll do. We need to extend this out a little bit further. There we go. Because Vlock is right at the edge. Yeah, the nice thing is when I do all this, I'll be able to give them the full-on map and then be like, hey, don't trust it. It's not entirely accurate. It's as accurate as they're going to be. If you want to get an actual accurate map, you're going to have to get a regional map. Ooh, you need to go way up in layers. Nice. Nope. Don't want that there. You go there, you get to go there, you get to go there, and you get to go there. Now, there's a fun thing I like to do. That's not how you spell tree, that's how you spell tri. Let's put a weird tree right there and let's not explain it not give it a name not do anything just put a weird tree and entice them i like teasing my players every now and then it's fun okay this we are going to put at 20 
Chippa doop. And we're going to add cities. Small little ones. Like that. And that. And that. And that. And let's do another coastal one over here. Let's do another desert one there. Let's do one there. That's really not going to be seeable there, is it? It doesn't matter, I'll have a name by it. Oop. Nope, we don't want that there. Ooh, let's put one there. There, because we can. There, because we can. And there. How many have we done? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's a, that's a heavy amount. That's fine. Heavy amounts are fine. We're okay with it. We need to add another one of these. I'm putting you right there. That's part of the Balashtar Kingdom, but that is... That's fine. Actually, you need to go a bit farther north. Nope, 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 nope. Not what I wanted to do at all. There we go. That's Nadana. Okay. Now we name things. Actually, we add the dunes before we forget to. Of course, we got to increase the size a bit, a bit more. There we go. Then hillscapes, hills. Are those too bright? What do the other ones look like? No, I don't like those. Eh, let's go with the bright ones. Bright, dark. These are dark, not bright. What am I? What am I thinking? Brains thinking things that are just don't work. There we go. Now what we really need to do up here... Uh, let's subtract a little portion... Right there. Because that's going to be the fish colour lake. And we need to take this and actually make it as small as possible. And literally just pocket this land. Good, 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 good. Might need to be a little bit more pocketed. There we go. And just for the sake of sticking true to things, we'll add the basics and a few more of these desert trees, wherever they are, palm trees, around, like that. Not going in full detail, 
you are not supposed to be that big. There we go. Continue send it down here, Belashar Kingdom over here, Nawak Empire up here, Trillic up there, and this landmass is the one that's important the most. Shiny. Well, that was quick. Was that quick? Not really. That was actually... Okay. Time flies. Really does. What is wrong? Okay. Nope. Wrong way. Twelve? Nine? Nine. Oh, wait. This size is only for... Main cities. Oh my goodness. Doesn't even... Okay. I need to remember always to right-click. Tished. Tished. Why are you upside down now? Oh, that's why. I twisted it for some somehow. Go. There we go. Right click. Nice. There we go. Right click. Nice. I might end up putting these names below. Okay, all the major places have name tags above them. Let's switch you to 12. So we can name the lesser ones. Boop. 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 Don't forget to right click. Hey, speaking of don't forget to, we have a Discord. Discord, you can join that. We also have social medias. You can join that. Twitter has gone, well, you know, we, we use Twitter mostly for just announcing when we're going live and such. If you want to see fun little clippy bits, there's always uh, Instagram and our TikTok. They both have great, great little clips sections that we play around with a lot. Now the challenge here, I think, is going to be deciding where the... You need to go over, but you're not going to do that. Uh, where the front line is for combat. Because, like I said, they are at war with each other. Of course, we're going to need to name that river. We're going to put the fish color stuff there. Uh, we're going to need to name this inlet. Uh, this already has a name. Whoops, I did it again. I forgot to right click. Uh, this also has a name. We're going to put the Grantina Senate down there just so people know, and something over there just so people know. Right, let's do that now. Grantina. That's not how you spell Grantina. It's a made up name, but that's still not how you spell it. There we go. Good job, me. Figuring out. Figuring out laugh. Come on, give me those. Very good. You 
should move up in layers. Okay, this palm tree needs to go down in layers. Very good. Because you are cropped in. That's wrong. There we go. And you... Madonna. There we go. This we're going to twist because you are the Guin River. Let's actually change that curvature a bit. Doesn't matter too much if some of these are poking over a, a smidge because you can have mountainous regions poking straight in. Welcome back. Uh, straight into a river quite nicely and quite easily. Whoa! Great. We grab this. Seeping Mountains? Or Seeping Peak? Uh, I'm just going to call them the Seeping Peaks. Seeping Peaks. This, we are going to kill the curvature entirely. Flip it to be sideways. Come on, fingers. Oh, look at that. Eh. There we go. Got there eventually. Balishtar Kingdom. Let's change your opacity a little... Let's change your opacity a little. Change your opacity to that. There we go. Ah, uh, we'll we'll figure out the name for that. Ooh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Is that what I called it? Yep, that's what I called it. Fish color lake. Up there actually needs a name too. This is a new name. Nuark Empire didn't exist a few years back. But now it does. Alright. I'll come up with a name for this. Bit. Change your opacity to that. Nice 0.45. It's gonna be. Is that a river? Is it technically a river? It doesn't make sense. I mean, because be typically you'd be finding it going around this region, not going inside here. But I love introducing little bits that just don't make sense and are confusing. Because I like confusing people. Also because it actually does make sense when you get into the details of what's going on. Ooh, actually, let's call this the talking... The talking inlet. Yeah, <laughs> put a nine in there. Inlet? Is inlet an appropriate terminology for that? Ah, we'll figure that out in a bit. Let's not increase, let's decrease that a smidge. There we go. 
Is it talking inlet? Is it is perfect? All right, I am going to let's do some thinkings and I'm going to put in the names of these cities. I'm telling you this because I'm going to hit that three minute ad break so we can have optimal time to talk about naming these smaller cities. So those of you who see ads, have fun. As for those of you who don't see ads, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> there we go. You get to watch as I figure all this out. How are we all, how are we all doing? How are we all feeling today? It's, it's a day. We're going to rename this a different name, though, actually. So we're going to touch on that later. Actually, we're going to rename all these different names. We're going to touch on all those later. Jittering Jungle. Let's twist you a bit. And add a curve. Let's take that inlet and move it up so it doesn't cross over. Decrease your opacity to that. And increase the size. Nice. For these ones, though... Oh, come on now. You could do it. You could do it, mouse. Come on. Come on. What do I have selected? Where are you? No. Nope. How about you? No. Nope. You. No. Nope. You. No. Nope. You. No. Nope. This one. 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 Come on. Come on, son. There we go. Zonio. You are Kroberg. You. Oh, that silly name I always give a city. Taxed. There are multiple taxts in this world. Polis. Is that it? Is that all I got? Gushing Oasis. I'm going to have to put that in the Newark Empire somewhere. Because Newark Empire is going to be the, the volcanic type regions. These ones are all definitely going to be dormant. There's going to be no volcano y activity in those areas. Ooh. Oh, cramp. Pain and misery. Ooh. What is life? Wait, why is there a text there? Oh. Mountain range. What do we call these ones? Mr. Fox gave me an idea for that one. It's like a dead dragon turtle. That's too far up. Gilf Top Gorge. <laughs> Still makes me laugh. Bonneberg Mountain Range. There we go. Bonneberg Mountains. Too big. Very too big. Change the opacity to that 0.45. Beautiful. Iguan River. There we go. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Cool, 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 cool. We're gonna move you there. Oh. Oakley Doakley. Gushing of waste. I'm writing that down so I don't forget ski. Where's a piece of paper? I have paper everywhere. I just threw a lighter in my coffee mug. Glad that was empty. Cool, cool, that's written down. Not gonna forget that anytime soon. Actually, I'll probably forget it, but then I'll just, you know, look at my notepad and remember. Right, so Grantina Senate's over there, Balashtar Kingdom's over there. Let's change that opacity to the 0.45. Here's the fun. I need 16 names this time. Good grief. What am I doing to myself? I need to set a clean line, so we're going to take this pathway. We're going to keep it as a jutted one here, like that. I think I'm going to... Like that. Just a basic line right there. So that city's going to be fucked. That city's going to have issues. Big problems. The Solakian, Solakian? Ooh, okay. Okay, okay. The Perme Volge and Aramathos, uh, they still need civilization names. So I'm going to write that one down as well. Let's see if I can save it for that. These ones, though, the civilization names have been very well canonized. That could be a desert one. Fair. Ooh. Yeah, it kind of sounds like it, doesn't it? Okay, let's take another pathway and actually follow up the river. Nice. There we go. These, that city's going to have a tough time with war. That one's going to have a tough time with war. Obviously, there's going to be fighting going on independently there. There are burrowing creatures in ways that they they'll burrow towards each other. What if we add a bit of a bulge, though? Yeah, I kind of want to do that. Let's find this pathway and get rid of it. Excuse me. Good grief. Hey, cuppy. We want there to be a bulge. Phrasing. I feel like that phrasing is... Yeah, there's so much phrasing in that. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, oh, ten, just ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow. Didn't mean to do that evenly first, but it happened. We're good with that. Technically, the Savath Dominion has another one that's not just in there yet. This one we are going to call... I do like the name, the Sulakian Empire. Kind of makes me think of um, Sarlax, which makes me think of Doctor Who. Which makes me want to call this Gallifrey, but I can't do that, so I'm going to call it Gallifrey. Gallifrey. Yeah, there we go. That's a good enough name. Good old Doctor Who. Now these ones, in accordance to the other map, this was called Jumeri, 
but with the inspiration of what you've all been uh, saying, I'm, I'm going to give them different names. Because of Savath Dominion, going off from it, uh, they probably, you know, it's reasonable to say that they gave it a different name. So let's do that. Let's give them different names. Uh, do, 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 do. This one, let's call... Actually, let's call this one up here, Savath. Named after its loving creator of the Savath Dominion. I say loving, he's, a, he's an Oathbreaker Paladin, so... He's not loving. Let's face it. He's, he's an evil, evil, evil guy. Genetically modified humanoids. Those exist in this continent. In Iridai. They are... 100%. There are hybrids everywhere. And there's a whole lore and plotline behind as to why. Many, many years ago, genetic wars, blah blah. they will save the lore for when we actually get into the campaign. But that's... that... that is a... an idea I've been fascinated with. And I've done what I can to like, write it into aspects and places I enjoy I enjoy the whole aspect of genetically modifying things is it ethical? who knows it's not it's not IRL it's not potentially it really depends on what side of the fence you land on okay I want these names not to be unique or not to be creative I want them to be dull and boring because Savath uh, they just to me they don't strike me as unique people or creative people per se the more zealots deep space nine law ooh Odoclan which means unknown ooh I never got into Star Trek too much. There's a lot of lore in Star Trek, though. A lot of fun stuff. How creative is that? Naming it after the mountain range? It's not creative. That's why I'm doing it, though. Ow! I did it again. I hit my funny bone for the second time. Pain. Misery. You go in. Hmm. Vistland. <laughs> Dune City. <laughs> That's just awful. Ugh. How basic can we make this? Oh, how about this? This is... <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, that'll upset people. <laughs> New Jumari instead of uh, Jumari. <laughs> oh, if they don't hate the Savath Dominion, I'm gonna be confused. Okay, here we go. Hill Land. <laughs> God. Cracking myself up here. It also makes me think that Galafine is maybe a little too unique of a name. So let's... Let's call this one... Galafine, and let's rename this one. Uh... Jitters. 
Welcome to Jitters. Gazinda. The Zinda. Is that more lore or is that a potential name? Because if it's a potential name, let's call this one Zinda. Zindi. 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 Trackland. Tracklin. Let's let's leave out the D. Helen Zindi Dune City Vistland Yigwin New Jamari Savav Bronneberg Garlefine. Okay, a couple more. That one is taxed, yes, it's... It was a spelling error I made in another map I made, and I just thought it was funny enough that I will continue to make a taxed city in every single map I ever do. And it just so happens to be in the Vesuth Republic this time around. Let's see, I need five more. Mustafa? Is that like Mufasa and Mustafa? Uh, da -da -da. Yes, trigger your players. Yes, yes. <laughs> Make them question the logic of most of the naming schemes behind a lot of things. No, Star Wars, it's just, it's a planet. Yep, Mustafar. I love Mustafar. Nice little volcanic place. Mustafa. Put in the mountains, that makes sense. I need to name one of these places after one of the gods, because there needs to be a very clean clean indicator that the Vesuth Republic really follows all the gods, and they're a very, very religious place. I mean, when you look at most law locations in most homebrewed worlds, you're always going to come across that city that really follows all the gods and really has that anti-arcane and more divine magic aspect to it. The Vesuth Republic is that place. They are, they don't shun the arcane, but they're less open to arcane. <laughs> the GM city. I don't know if I could go that far, but I really want to. <laughs> oh, my name. As in, okay, no, that took me a moment. Oh gosh, I feel sad that it took me a moment to realize what you're getting at. Okay, okay. Uh, Jip City? That sounds so insensitive, though. But do it backwards. Pidge. Pidge. Okay. Pidge. <laughs> I, I love that. <laughs> Welcome to Pidge, everyone. <laughs> What if I took most of these cities and I actually just named them after my players? But backwards. Okay, I'm renaming a few. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna rename Iguin to Neb. 
This one's gonna be. Uh, I'll have to. Wait, there's an R in there. There we go. Enerknat. <laughs> Enerknat. Okay, okay. Is there another one? Okay, Galafine. I love the name, but... And... Uh, let's get rid of Jitters and make it... <laughs> oh, actually, if I do that, though, it should be all inside of the Zuth Republic. Let's rename this one Neb. Rename this one Mustafa. And name this one. <laughs> there we go. All of the players are named in cities up here. And myself. We are uh, <laughs> the gods of the worlds. The, the ones that actually decide and make the decisions for what happens in this place. I find it a little strange, but I love it. Introducing weird aspects like that, it'll throw them off. And if any of them figure it out, if any of them are watching right now, they'll figure it out quickly because we're talking about it. But they're probably not, so we'll see. Well, I think that's all the places there. So really what we need to do is we need to add a few more text locations. Oops. Oh wait, no. I don't have any selected. We're good. We're good. We're good. Put you to the fifth. Oh, oh fine. Go up one. There. Right click. Don't forget to right click. Here we have the Vesuth Republic. Decrease your opacity to that four, uh, 0.45. Twist you a little bit so we can sneak you nicely in between all those locations right click and sabath dominion that's not how you spell dominion that's how you spell dominion and we're going to reverse your curve actually and we're going to twist you a little bit there we go <laughs> yeah, I can tell you do a lot of this. I like it. The first letter and last name loads of things. Ah. See, I usually just... I look around at my surroundings. And I just think of different ways like the um the orca place i've got i've got a little glass that's from orcas island just off the coast in uh, of washington the northern coast just right by the canadian border with the u.s uh, i've got a glass right there that's where i got the the orca bit from it and there might be other little maps i might be able to point out where i've done that before as well Taxed was literally a spelling error. I, I went in and I tried to, I did the whole space thing, forgot to right click the whole 
type of situation, as per usual, and misspelt it to T-A-X-T, but I left it, because I was like, you know what, why not? And I figured I would continue on that trend everywhere I went. But you're giving me ideas for how to better do that in the future. I love it, thank you. Thank you very much. Now, of course, we know there are encampments around here, but this is a regional map for the Zavath Dominion and the Vizuth Republic. So their encampments are not going to be listed in those regions. Did we just make a whole regional map very quickly? There are no spelling errors with unknown cities and languages. You are very correct with that. Very correct with that. Wow. I like it. That was quick and easy. Of course, the Savath Dominion, even though they're evil, they are they do have more land. That's because in campaign stuff they're supposed to you know, the evil is supposed to be on the uppy winny bit of it to encourage the players to actually do something about it. And if they don't do anything about it, then well I guess they win. How terrible is that? She so works so fast. Yeah, yeah. Your ideas are enabling it to Oh, Argentina beat Mexico 2-0. Ugh. What's that put the standings at now? I don't like Argentina. I want them to lose. No offense if any of you are Argentinian and are rooting for them to win. Oop. That was just a huge, huge... Come on, try again. Standings. Show me the standings. For those of you who don't know, the FIFA World Cup's going on right now. And... Well, I'm not watching every single one of them. I do follow it profusely. Because one of these days, the 56-year run is going to end and England will win. One of these days. I have hope and faith, and every single time it happens, my hope and faith is always crushed upon the rocks and dashed upon the first round of eliminations as we lose. But hey, continue on that hope. Saudi Arabia is now below Argentina because they won by a two-goal differential. Golly, come on. And Mexico's at the bottom, that's strange. Hmm. Right, now that I've been distracted by FIFA news. Let's save this so I don't lose it. Because I haven't saved it in a very long time. Uh. Cup loop. There we go. Another region. Another regional location. So we've got a chunk of this of the die regioned out. A chunk of it thought out. I think we'll call the making of maps at that point. I'll show you a few of the other ones I've made. So we can give you a bit more of a perspective of map stuff for Nathriel in general. Which the campaign goes on tomorrow at 3 MDT, that's 10 GMT for those in relevancy. Look at that. It's gorgeous. This is a really good map. Tooting my own horn. Here's another one I really need to work on in the future. It's nowhere near relevant yet. This one's the Irimathos. I made the general continent 
a while back. And general ideas for it. But there are a bit of a shattered land. So this one's to the east of what we were just looking at. So if you look at this map, sorry about the flash, uh, it's going to be to the east, over on this side. That's where Erymathos is going to be. So these little islands and the archipelago of the god is going to be the west of Erymathos, composed to the east of Iridai, compared to the north of Andrea, which is where they're currently at. I don't have a full-on world map yet. I need to work on that. I need to find a proper engine that can make world settings. Because without a proper engine to do that, I'm just... Oh. It'll be difficult to make. Real difficult to make. Well, this place, it's also big. Where's my nice and handy dandy bookie? Because the world itself is about the same size as Earth. I don't have actual mileage of how big this one is, but it's it's around the same size as you gotta die. So a couple thousand miles, a few thousand miles. But very different landscape. I also don't have like nations or how it's governed, any of that typical kind of law that goes on with it. And over here is Pyrma Volge. That one's going to be very, very different landscape. I mean, talk about wild magic. It is just rife with wild magic all over the place. Instead of having hurricanes or ice storms or uh, tornado storms or things like that, they have wild magic storms, which they call surges. A uh, surge happening, people usually typically hide underground for those. Which we'll get into some lore on that come next campaign because it's going to be a lot more prevalent at that time frame. But where it all began, where this entire world began, let me move over to that map and show you that. Mm, if I can find it. Yeah, <laughs> Yark. That's not Yark, by the way. That's just a different. That's a thing I made for a one shot. That Ethan ran. Here we go. Oh, nice. A friend who makes up languages. I have a language. I have a language that originates from this continent. All right, yeah, I can I can make different colors. I forgot I did that in here. This is a continent where it all started. And a continent we don't explore, ever. We've briefly seen the inside of the royal palace of Zenus. But it was very brief when your laundry all traveled over there to visit uh, the, the king. So King Shago, and convince him to come over and help with the whole conflict with the gods and such. Now this is where, Zenus is where the, the Magus are situated, a homebrewed race that they don't know the key to. And one of the players is discovering the difficulties of the Magus language, which is... So the Magus language, when I created it, I, the written portion of it I created through my own handwriting... Because my handwriting is absolute freaking garbage. It's awful. Uh, hardly anyone can read it. So I took that aspect and I took that thought. The Moaning River, I forgot about that. But I took the aspect of no one being able to read my handwriting and said, what if there's a language that no one can read, and no one can understand, unless you have the aspect of the race that is required. So only Magus can read their handwriting and only Magus can understand the language, even with monks who eventually get the ability to understand every language and read every language. Even they can't understand or read that language. And it's very confusing for the monk of my party, who is now at the point of having that aspect. It 
it's frustrating for the players in certain realms, but it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be frustrating. It's supposed to drive them to try to understand, and it is so far working towards driving him to understand as to why that's the case. He still hasn't gotten down to the center of it yet. Eventually, I have full faith he will. I genuinely believe he will, but it's going to be a while. But here you've got the Drarian Kingdom, the Empire of Luo. Luo is dead now. Uh, the Levening Kingdom, Zenus, Nation of Schlebar, Koluzar Kingdom. Koluzar Kingdom is one of my favorites, mainly because I've always liked the idea of Goliaths chucking halflings or gnomes and, you know, <laughs> doing that whole thing. So, I made the southern portion, this portion over here, the Kuzar Kingdom, uh, primarily populated by Goliaths, and this portion by halflings and gnomes, and during the Continental War of Quayla, they unified together to fight, to send forces up to the Elevening Kingdom to fight against the Empire of Luo, who had at that point... Let's put a pathway in here. Gotten down to all the way basically over here. They basically took over the entire Levening Kingdom, almost. And they needed a lot of help to gain all of it back. Uh, their whole fighting aspect is the Goliaths charging in and chucking their gnomes and halflings. You need to lose your sanity to understand it and in the in turn gain your sanity again. Uh, you know, that's a little bit, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I love playing with one of the most underappreciated pages of the DM's guide is the Madness, Madness page. DMs hardly ever use it. They hardly ever implement Madness on the characters. And I really enjoy trying to find aspects of utilizing underappreciated and underutilized parts of D&D and D&D lore aspects. So that, that whole language and that, that whole race, the Magus themselves, is a huge aspect of it. Because the Magus, they can, they can cast spells innately. So it's a race aspect that they can cast spells. But in order to cast the spell, they have to use their own life force. So your HP. So like a, a level 1 spell costs 5 HP to use. A level 2 is 15 HP to use. A uh, level 3 is 25 HP. Shavanta, we... we We've got similar thought processes on a lot of things. I enjoy that. I enjoy the the aspect that you use that. I really do. That is amazing. I really appreciate that. This this is where everything started. And if you look at it as a whole, Chef Hunter, you'll probably be able to see where it's... The continent shape is derived from. It's England. I I just took, well, I say England, it's the UK. UK as a whole. Took it, threw it on a map, moved things around like I had the Theocracy of Salo down here. Like where Ireland would be, but I put it up here instead. And I made it just a bunch of jutted peaks and pyres going out of the ocean. To help with the whole lore behind the the flitber which inhabit this area and how they use it and then i put i took the little islands and instead of making them little tiny islands off the coasts and such i coabulated them all coabulated that's not a word i conglomerated them all into the osirid merchants who are primarily tabaxi now inside this world tabaxi in the tabaxi of a uh, quayla they have more of a, an oily skin, and oily fur, but it's because they are seafaring people. Whereas if you go to Iridai, the tabaxi there are much more fluffy. That's because they're not seafaring. So they've not had to adapt and utilize aspects of oiling and being able to swim much more easy. Like Jersey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Jersey. Yeah, somebody who understands what I'm doing here. <laughs> Uh, oh, Draco Union. I forgot about them. Very, very small. They're really only these four cities. 
inhabited by the cousins of the Huglupids of the Empire of, of Luo, the cousin race, the Seglupids. Smaller, but still fairly large. Those races are large as base. Huglupids can grow in size. Fun story from my three five days, I made a race called the Huglupid. He had four arms. I chose a class that when you grow in size and you utilize your arcane armor of sorts, you can grow more limbs, got him to gargantuan size and was able to grapple gods. My biggest favorite thing was I grappled a gargantuan god and kept him at bay while all my other party tried to kill him and take care of him. That character died by overhealing. In 3.5, there was a positive energy force, and if you overhealed by three times your maximum HP, you exploded. I got overhealed by three times my maximum HP and exploded. Nearly killed half the party with my body parts, but you know. Fun times. Campaign of good intentions. I went through five characters in that campaign. Phew. As you can see, here's the taxed woods. Taxed. It's in everywhere. Everywhere I go. Octulo Plains. Yeah, this was a fun one to make. Because again, it's where everything was birthed. It all started here. And I'm never using this map for any of the campaigns. Terrible, isn't it? Absolutely terrible. But in context, Iridai is up in this region. It's far northeast up there. Perma Volge is going to be northwest up in that area. And then Andrea, where they currently are, is about three months sailing east. Or nine months or so west. There's no continents between... Andrea and Quayla to the west. All of this used to be as one just one giant Pangea. A giant Pangea that was separated and shattered when the gods sent down a titan to enact the, the god's wrath, which Iridai is Greek for god's wrath. There's a lot of Greek uh, influence in some of my naming schemes. Like Perma Volge, it's it's uh, derived from, I believe, the Greek for the origins of species. Uh, in lore-wise of Nathriel, it's not the origin of the species, but uh, the name itself is originated from that. But Eremathos and Perma Volge, we'll see those in Campaign 3. Probably. Maybe. I don't know. We might go to Quayla for that. I just need to come up with plot points for it. I still haven't made those maps, though. That's this world. My second world. Yeah, I don't want to save any changes I made on that. I have a whole separate world called Corsinia, where I have two maps. Actually, let's just go to the zoomy bit of this. Parkoff, which Ethan, one of my players, when I first started playing with him, this is the first one. First place he ever encountered was Parkos. Map look a little different at that point. I like also using a special name for magic from each race sometimes. Using different terminology and different different things. I mean, it's something that's really not recognized in some places, especially in big countries. Big countries, IRL, like the US, the, the biggest cultural difference they find is interstate. Whereas for people who come from Europe, uh, the culture differences is inter-country. Because, I mean, it's uh, from like London itself, it's just a couple hours drive to Wales. And even though well, the Welsh are still English speaking at this point, and there's still Welsh in there, there's a different culture 
to be considered. And same thing with Scotland, same thing with Ireland, France, Germany, that, that whole aspect. So you've got to take the different countries and you have to add little tiny nuances of different cultural aspects between the countries themselves or between the nations themselves in this case. So adding little bits like that, very important when you're making up your own world lore. And it's very subtle as well. It can be, it can be very difficult to pick up on. Like uh, Andrea, Andrea has been locked off to magic use for many, many generations. So the, the concept that magic exists wasn't there for a very long time. At the beginning of the campaign, when they first used magic, many of the people actually responded diversely, or very, um, diversely is not the word for it. They were confused. There's, there's, there's a fancier word for it, but it's not coming to mind right now. They were baffled and confused by the fact that the party was using this magic to do what they did. They thought it was extraordinary what they could do. And now that... Adverly. Adverly, I like that word. That's a good word. Adversely. Adversely. Adverly. <laughs> Autocorrect. What a be? But the, um... Now that they've solved as to why Andrea has been cut off from magic, uh, a lot more people are discovering that they can use magic themselves. And they've started to call the people who can use magic in Andrea the hidden ones. Or the hidden in general. Because they believed it was hidden for all these years. It wasn't. It was just being uh, stolen. For lack of better terms than that. Where's taxed here? Hey, that's taxed. Down here. <laughs> taxed again. This continent, or this little island up here, didn't exist until Ethan's character. He's a dragonborn, and all the dragonborn primarily come from up here. Heroes, Paladin, Run, Primus, Elven, Run, Tresset, Tree City. <laughs> I'm really creative in some places. I'm not. Mareth, Mareth is a city-state. It's where it's your magical college. If you are magically inclined, that's where you go to study and learn. Adderall. ADHD medication. Yeah. Hyperactive PCs are from Adverly. Ooh. Yeah, <laughs> that's a fun aspect. Throwing little bits like that. Zangroth. Pirates and barbarians all up here. That's, this is in Corsinia. There's another one, which is actually my maps. This is where Yolondriel is from. Dagrafin. Oh, I hit edit instead of just zoom in. Silly me. He's from the little city of Mool. Oh, that's something I should be adding, is little pathways and roads. This place, though. Eventually, I might use these maps. Well, that's, that's going to be years, years down the road. I have no reason for right now. This one, though, was unfinished. We we started this campaign and then never got back into it again. That's about when I started up the inn. Home is radiated with corn for them. You have a fun mind. I like it. Let's, let's do that as the, the last little bit is add in some roads. Not here, because Grantina sun it's all desert, so the winds are going to shift the sands and move it around quite a bit. You know, 
a lot of people look at ADHD as more of a, hey, oh, Hexen, how you doing? As a downside in some bits, but I, I don't know. Sometimes I, I feel like it could be beneficial in ways. Sorry if I'm being insensitive in saying that, but... I feel like it could be... I'm doing good. Got two big old regional maps done today, so... Is that... No, let's do a different color for that. The focus. Okay. See, I, I, don't, I don't have it myself, so... I have a distracted mind, but I don't think I have the ADHD on that form of things. My understanding is lacking, essentially is what I'm trying to say. So help with understanding is always, 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 always appreciated. Let's make it brown, shall we? Does this work? Yeah, brown, okay. There we go, there's a road. Are there, like, methods and things that you can do to help with the, the ADHD without... I mean, obviously there's medications that might help with that, but... Sometimes even medications don't help. Let's get this way. Let's end it in the mountains, because you're not going to see it in the mountains. Again, these are... Desert places, so... It's more of just trying to find your way to. Start there. Nice. Let's make a nice coastal pathway. Do, 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 do. Oh, that got too close to the ocean. We are going to keep it nice and tight to the ocean coastline, though. Very good. That'll get lost in there. Let's split it off. So we can go over to Savath. Fidget toys. Ooh, yeah, I imagine fidget toys can really help. Methods and ways to learn how to curb it. I imagine it's probably very, uh... specific at times. For the person. Depending on the person. Whoop. Let's go around and around and over. Beautiful. Oh, where'd you go? Why'd you disappear? That was a lovely little river. Now it's gone. River. Pathway. Coast onto that. Right click. Magnificent. Let's do that. And then, of course, let's do some pathways that will diverge off, because right up here, there's going to be a city up there somewhere. Do that for that. There we go. Since you won. Okay, so you've had time. Yeah. Yeah, okay. The process of learning how to handle the situations can be really, really difficult. Desperately difficult. Let's take a Nugton and put a little pathway there to kind of suggest that there might be, just might be, a coast, or a coastal city there. Let's take this. 
We do a road that leads up there. These are regional maps. They should have roads, right? Let's take that road and go over here. But you could be coming from Hillland. And going that way. Wunderbar. The other ones are going to be a lot more... Oop! We need a road to pitch. And a road from pitch. Confusing intersection, isn't that? And we will just do a simple, small pathway. Ooh, let's actually move that down a few layers. Down, 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 down. So it's hidden behind some of the tokens. Tiny epic western today. Ooh. Westerns are fun to play with. I have a couple of Western one-shots. Remember to add swamps. Yes. So here's a jungle region. Uh, these are marshland sorts. Really what I should be calling the marshland bandit people is I really should be calling them swamps. But in the region where they're primarily located is marshy lands. Well, that's saving, actually. Let's pop over here. So these, whoop, get you awful. Jungle, right, okay. So the biohemispheres of this whole place really should not make any sense to people. But that's because it, it doesn't. It doesn't make sense. Due to everything that's gone on in Nath Riel, the the land has been so manipulated and changed in ways that it's just confusing. It's very confusing, but these are all swamps and marshlands. This whole region here. I'm not gonna forget to add possible ways of introducing swamp people. Globshuck swamps. Globshuck. The glob shap swarms. I'm gonna. Are you done? Okay, it's done saving. Return to my mappies. It does need a name. I'm just gonna call it the the marshland bandit swarms. That's a silly name. We can fix these curves later on. Move you to 0.45. There we go. As they stink. <laughs> they, they definitely do. I have a, a city in here somewhere that moves around. It's a giant mimic. I had to do it. I had to, I had to create it, a giant mimic. But don't tell my players. They don't know yet. I'm hoping they'll just randomly run into it. And then enter it. And bad things will happen. It'll be funny. Sweet. Globshack swamps. If they use the fire. Oh, that's brilliant, yeah. Like, if they if they light a fire, there's a chance that it could just explode in their face. Wonderful idea. Because the gas is around. Gaseous smells. Isn't that just nice? Now, I do have... If I take all that... Go bye-bye. 
I have land underneath there. But they need to discover it themselves. It's all undiscovered because once you go in, you just go bed, bed. There's high chances that you'll just get lost and die. Okay. Right, we did a couple of things. Oh, I still need to put the names. Oh, I really did. The sound of the gas bubbling. Fun stuff like that. Quarantine the Senate. If we did this today. Good job, bus. And... Jumerian Vlock. They're not named that anymore, obviously, on the other map that we did, but they are that still for the Garantina Senate, where they're going to be able to get this map and have access to it. And the Savath and Vesuth Republic. Savath Dominion and Vesuth Republic. Once entirely used to be the Vesuth Republic. And then the new Jamari Tracklin. Great stuff. That leeches, yes. Leeches must be in there. Especially after I've been playing Valheim. The leeches in Valheim are just terrifying. I don't like them. I only ever fight them with a, a bow and arrow. Occasionally I'll be brave and I'll try to fight them with a sword, but it's not very, very good. It usually ends poorly. Very poorly. Yes. That's a good idea. Being able to harvest it and then create an anti-poison from whatever they harvest from them. There is lore inside Iridai for medicine colleges all over the place. Uh, places that they will go to to try to understand the natural herbs and natural remedies that don't require magic. So there are there is the option that people will know natural remedies as opposed to just being a, needing to rely on magical means of doing things. Oh, is in the poison just wants to connect with itself. Well, that's an underutilized aspect. Huh. Gonna have to play around with that. Thank you, Chef Hunter. You've given me another, uh, another thought. Another thing to suck the poison out by the. Oh. I do have one creature that is going to be entirely in the Grantina Senate called Bone Flappers. I'm going to save the lore for what they are for when they encounter it, but they, oh, they're terrifying. They scare even me. I can't imagine what the players are going to feel when it comes down to it. Anyway, I've been on for four hours now almost. I think I'm going to call it there for the day. Couple of maps. Love using assassin bugs in the game. Yeah, yeah. That's a cool. Spraying out this uh, acidic thing while they try to run away. A low level. Easy CR. Yep. Right. Yeah. Uh, that's 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 it for the day. We, we got a couple of region. Uh, of course, I'm going to be back uh, in a couple of weeks to do more regional maps. Because there are still places I need to do. The Trillic Union, States of Abtula, uh, the Glob, Globby place. I'll need to redo this map. Kingdom of Balashtan, the Noak Empire, Frostlands, Elapse Mountain, Gruensmiths. Yeah, plenty to do. Plenty to do still. Even the archipelago of the gods, so I'll still have to do that too. 
But next week though, we have a one shot planned for 12 MDT. It's gonna be the Watcher's Pocket Dimension, something that was community funded a long time ago and we just haven't had the time to do it. We've finally found the time to do it and we've got a group together to do that. Got the Geeky Knights, Runner, Gecko Mama joining us for that. Von from Von, Von Heiliger, he's gonna be joining us for it. Uh, a few other names that you would recognize that I just can't think of right now. Targan, he'll be there. Uh, the author of the one shot who wrote it, he's going to be there. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a hoot and a half. That's next week, Saturday. But tomorrow, tomorrow is Tales of Andrea. Will we hop back into the world or the the plains regions of Andrea, which is down here, where I think they're going to actually be hopping into the Northern Isles. And taking on Girafine, a giant red dragon, an ancient red dragon. They're level 14 though, they should be able to handle it. But they're charging in through the front door, so we'll, we'll see how that goes. So yeah, join us for tomorrow. As the consequences, figure out how they're going to kill a giant red dragon. Let's see, is there anyone going that I might be able to raidy raid? Hey, G for shot. They're doing stuff. Uh, it looks like they just started too. Yeah. So let's raid them. Thank you all for joining me. It's been a delight. It's been a hoot. We'll see you tomorrow. Love you.